What is good YouTube and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video we're doing game three with the brand new Galaxy Opal JJ Redick. And while JJ can shoot the ball at a high level, and obviously they gave him athletic ability as well, I'm not sure this card as a whole is good enough at only 6-3 with the animations that he has to really compete at the point guard position. So before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Also, want to give a massive shout out to my boy Anthony for letting me hop on his account to record this video. Really appreciate that a ton. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. JJ is 6'3, 99 offense and 98 defense, 92 driving lane, 98 mid range, 99 three ball, 95 driving duck, 90 ball handle, 90 pass accuracy, 94 perimeter, 84 interior, 89 speed, two ball, and excel. You'd like that to be higher. I'm not going to lie, but it's okay. 95 vert, 94 lateral quickness, um, 80 strength. Like, he doesn't look like the greatest interior defender, obviously. He's only 6'3 at PG, but off poster as our agent three blinders, catch and shoot, claymore, comeback kid, dead eye, green machine, guard up, limitless, clamp, slippery off ball, glove, pick dodger, blow by speed booster, right stick gripper, 94 feet. Like, really good all around card for sure. No immovable enforcer at all, which is a little bit of a flaw, but as a whole, like, the card looks pretty good. The question was for me, is what is his release look like and how does he move is the 89 speed noticeable especially on a shorter player like jj reddick and the answer is um it does honestly it still kind of looks slow and your escape is still not all that good jj so i don't know i, I was hoping this car would be really good but i don't know if think he is because the way his movement is especially at only 6-3 that's not an ideal thing at all so um as a whole probably not exceedingly impressed or excited so far about um about this card but obviously his release is super nice and he is an athletic card so he's going to be able to do a good amount of uh play and a good amount of stuff like that so i think he'll i think it'll be good honestly like the thing that i am kind of worried about with jj reddick is the question of can he create an open shot and with the way his escape is the answer is probably going to be no for the most part but when he's open he should be knocked down as i say that i missed like three wide opens in a row but um, he is a very athletic big uh, guard as well. I just don't really think defensively he'll be great, and I don't think his shot creation is great. And I think that really holds him back and definitely makes him one of the worst cards from this gladiator drop, unfortunately. So with that being said, let's hop into a game. Let's see what JJ Redick can do. All right, our opponent over here has Alex Caruso, OG Ananobi, Jalen Brown, um, Mark Gasol, and I think a Tim Duncan card. I'm not even totally sure what Tim Duncan card, but there's a Tim Duncan out there somewhere. I get plucked immediately by Mark Gasol. He's got Diamond Tim Duncan. That's what it is. Wow, I cannot believe I'm really playing against Diamond Tim Duncan right now. But there you go. He got a pluck first possession, and we immediately, uh, unfortunately, take a 2 nothing deficit. I think this JJ Reddit card is actually kind of garbage. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't want to sit here and like say he's terrible terrible because i don't think he's awful but he's kind of bad with the way his movement is at only six three like i understand certain stats and badges are good and his release isn't bad and he can dunk the ball pretty well but i don't think this card is actually very good at all like i wouldn't really recommend using him at all at this at the point guard position or something especially when you consider the amount of good point cards that have dropped recently for free between obviously sga and uh gilbert arenas but even like free dark matter steph um, who's definitely better than this jj reddit card and a couple other cards as well probably that will likely be coming in the near future i would assume so i don't know in my opinion there's a lot of point cards that are better than this jj reddit card mainly because of the lack of movement like i can live without the off without him having a movable if he had a really nice release but unfortunately i don't think he i mean his release is fine but it's like i don't know his animations in general aren't aren't, aren't good enough for him to really justify us it's like the car's not bad i'd like him to be good but I just don't think his release is quite elite enough. I think he's going to struggle defensively. I think he's small. I think he's kind of slow. Like, is he really a particularly good card? I don't really think so, unfortunately. Um, I think we're kind of just benefiting from playing against a pretty poor opponent in this matchup so far, uh, which is allowing us, and I think will continue to allow us to hopefully rack up a good amount of stats. But I think with the way the JJ's animations are looking right now, it's it's going to be at least a little bit tougher. Um, I don't know. I think his shot creation ability is really limited. Um, good dump down again, though. As long as we can keep taking assists, we will find a way to create uh, a, create enough offense and stuff and keep JJ involved. But I just uh, scoring the ball is becoming, I feel like, a struggle with a card like JJ at this point. You just need such good six to truly consistently get open, especially against off-ball defense. And JJ doesn't really have that, so... We're going to try to come out here and get on stuff like some sort of fat stop or anything like that. If I can get him to come press up on me, and I actually can, but I don't get the right animation. That's unfortunate as heck. Um, reach and foul there. Three minutes left. Nothing happens. Um, I just, eh. 
four points, one rebound, two assists so far. I understand we're less than two minutes into the game, but not uh, ideal so far, I wouldn't say. Um, hit ourselves a pop here. We're going to go back to this pick and pop, and we're going to attack downhill. Hit our pop again. Beautiful. Between the legs. And I am going to shoot the fade. And is that normal fade? Why does he have normal fade? I missed. Aye, aye, aye. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sick of this JJ Reddick card already. He doesn't shoot the ball that much better than anybody else. Like, I don't see anything particularly special about his shooting. And I don't think the lack of movable enforcer, the lack of size, that type of stuff is all that great. And like I said, the release just is not that same level of elite this year, to be honest. So I know I've only been reviewing this card for a few minutes, but I don't know how much else I really need to see. Like, uh, I don't know. Just you got to have good animations at this point in the year, especially if you're a shorter point guard. And like... JJ Redick has an okay release. He has, I don't know, like, maybe not have it. I just don't see this card being all that good at all. He's so, it's it's unfortunate too, because in real life, Jimmy was obviously an elite bucket getter. Um, but I don't think, I'm not sure what 2K really could have done to make this card good, unless they just made him extremely unrealistic defensively. Uh, and honestly, they didn't, and that's okay. So, yeah, it's 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 all right that not every free reward is, or not that not every card is tough for sure. This from the player market, I should say, but. Um, J JJ is a very, I mean, he's solid, but I think, I don't know. I think there's a, a better Opal in, in this week's player market, not to mention a couple of better pink diamonds as well. So if you're looking to spend in T, I don't know if, uh, the spot that I do it is on JJ Reddick. Open three again, breaks it again. Ay, ay, ay. I don't want to like, I don't want to make excuses, but we're struggling right now a lot and not making open shots is not a great part of it, honestly. Uh, definitely need to get that down. Watch the slip here. We're going to drive the ball. We're going to attack the rim. We're going to get ourselves a dunk. And at least we're going to start out with a lot of assists. Because, unfortunately, the scoring has been really tough. But with a minute 32 left, we got an opportunity to hopefully get Scott on the board some more. Um, maybe get a win. But I, I think we're going to win pretty easily, honestly. So that's fine. Um, help over a little bit. Wall up. Good D. That should be a stop. Yo, wow. That's crazy. That's not a stop. Um... I guess let's just drive the ball here and let's see if we can get inside. It will attack and stick dunk. And he shoots a lamp. It's so lame, but I'll take the bucket regardless. Uh, overall, I mean, fine. It's just he's, he's, he's fine. He's not horrible. This is not a card that's going to be playing in the NBA or anything like that. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, JJ Redick in real life, but like this card doesn't. Eh, he's just not that great, if that makes sense. But he is a good shooter, he is athletic. He can be fun to use. I just don't think he's truly elite at the shooting guard position, point guard position. Also, it is really late. I need to go to bed. So I think I'm going to call the video there with JJ Redick because I just I don't know what else I'm going to see out of this card that's going to impress me or change my opinion. His sigs aren't good enough for that to really happen, I don't think. Um, unfortunately, I just, I don't know. I have a hard time um, seeing JJ Redick being all that good of a card at the point guard position, really, no matter what. So 6 1 and 4 on not incredible efficiency. The shooting doesn't feel super special, and overall, the card certainly does not feel super special. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.